Welcome back friends. In this video we will be discussing about genetics of color blindness. When we see the color blindness at molecular level, we come to know that it's an X-linked inheritance. That means the genes responsible for color blindness in humans are present on X chromosome or X chromosomes. It's also referred as red and green color blindness. That raises the question here why it's called so. Since there is another primary color that is blue, it must be called an RGB blindness, but it isn't so. Let's see in detail what's the genetics behind it, what's this red and green color blindness. We know in our retina we have cone cells that perceive the color vision. And these cells absorb the different wavelengths with their pigments in them. And these pigments are called opsins. Or we can say photopsins when we talk about cone cells. And these cells are of three types, with S-type cone cells, M-type cone cells, and L-type cone cells. Where S, M, L corresponds to the wavelengths they absorb, small, medium, and long wavelengths. The S-type has got blue light sensitive option in it. M-type has got green sensitive option in it. And L-type has got red light sensitive options. Which means that these cone cells absorb the blue, green and red color wavelengths respectively in the spectrum. And these form the primary colors also that's RGB, red, green and blue. And from these three colors, millions of colors can be perceived by our brain. The same case with the printers where we only have three colors but we get every color on print. Now when we see the genes encoding the opsin proteins, we see the genes for S-type opsin are found on chromosome number 7. And genes encoding M and L type options are found exclusively on X chromosome. That's why the color blindness is referred as red and green color blindness. As for both of these color absorbing options which are getting produced by genes are present on X chromosome. Since it's X linked inheritance also. And also remember that it's X linked recessive inheritance. Which means both the alleles for a character or trait should be mutated or defective in homozygous condition, like in XX condition. In both the X chromosome, the allele should be defective. And if only one X chromosome has defective allele, the other has normal allele, in that case there will be no color blindness. To represent these normal and defective alleles on X chromosome, we will use the symbol representation as XC is a representation for defective allele for opsin pigment on X chromosome. C is the allele that will code for an opsin pigment that's photopsin and this C allele represents the defective form of allele. While as XN is the representation for normal allele for opsin pigment on X chromosome. N represents the normal allele. Now we will see the conditions in male first. The males are heterogametic that means males have only one X chromosome and the other one is Y chromosome that means they will give two gametes that's two different gametes X and Y. So conditions will be X and Y that gives the normal color vision and other condition would be XCY that gives the color blind male. Since only one X chromosome is present that means only one defective allele is good to get color blind male. And the conditions for females are XN XN that gives the normal vision, XN XC that also gives the normal vision since this is recessive trait but this will be the carrier one. And last condition is XC, XC. It's when both chromosomes have defective alleles. And at that time, the female will be colorblind. Now in a cross between normal female and colorblind male, let's see what will be the F1 generation. The parent generation has conditions in the form of XN, XN, that's for a normal female, and XC, Y, for colorblind male. The gametes from these parents will form via meiosis and we will get X and X and from females that are homogametes whereas in males we will get X, C and Y that are heterogametes. And in this cross we will get individuals with X, N and X, N condition and second will be X, N, Y condition. Both of the individuals have normal color vision. First is the female with normal color vision and other one is the male with normal color vision also. This will form the F1 generation. That means from normal female and colorblind male, we will get a F1 generation having all normal color vision. Now things change here. When we cross the colorblind female with normal vision male, the parent generation will be XC, XC for female and X and Y for male. This will be the condition. The gametes will be 
XCXC from female that are the homogametes and X and Y from the male. In this cross, we will get individuals in the form of XC, XN and second will be the XC and Y. So in that case, we see the females comes out to be normal vision while the male is a color blind. This is the reason because the males get X chromosome from their mothers only and in that case the female was color blinded and both the alleles were defective. So this is how the X linked color blindness works in humans. Most of the time in X linked inheritance the females act as carriers. To get the color blind female then both parents should donate X chromosomes with defective or mutated allele. That means only chance for color blind female to appear is that male parents should always be colorblind this is all about genetics of colorblinds in humans i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel thanks